friends! In this video you'll see how the actors of the movie Street Fighter 1994 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Chun Li is a journalist but secretly tries to get close to Bison. She has a deep sense of duty and would do anything for her near, even kill a man if he brings them suffering. She is not of the timid type, able to quickly navigate the situation and just as quickly make decisions. She is also almost silent when she needs to find out an information and can be quite sneaky and fearless. Played by Ming Na Wen. Ru makes a living in a dishonest way, just like his good buddy Ken. He can sometimes make sarcastic remarks, knows how to be cunning when necessary and likes to get straight to the point. It's important for him to provide adequately for himself, but he is not ready to go over the heads and lose his friends for this and also lose his humanity. The role is performed by Byron Mann. Kami serves in the UN where he holds the position of lieutenant and is directly subordinate to Colonel Guile. She is distinguished by diligence and prompt execution of tasks and also has a rather brave nature. Kami is much shorter than her colleagues, but thanks to this she has great maneuverability and also has a pretty good kick. She has long hair, which she prefers to wear in pigtails. Played by Kylie Minogue. Zangief is one of Bison's close associates who is not very intelligent, which is why he didn't realize that Bison was doing cruel things. He is quite malleable when it comes to running errands and is also a sort of bodyguard for Bison. He can be sentimental on occasion. He wears a haircut with clean shaven sides and a mohawk in the middle and also has a beard. The role is played by Andrew Brynarski. DJ was part of Bison's inner circle, but unlike his colleague Zangief, he received monetary rewards for his duties. Able to show devotion and be extremely executive, but exactly the moment when he doesn't feel the weakness of his superiors and the threat to himself. Well versed in programming and able to reconfigure the satellite signal. Not capable of self-sacrifice. The role is played by Miguel Anunes Jr. Bison seeks total subjugation for the entire ruling class and the rest of the Earth's population. It's characterized by the manifestation of self-confidence, while it can be extremely cold-blooded. He is a single-minded person who has a fanatical devotion to his ideas, for the sake of which he will eliminate any living creature in his path. Played by Raul Julia, who died in 1994 of complications from a stroke. Ken is on good terms with Ru, with whom he also has some business agreements. He doesn't run a completely legal business, but at the same time he is not distinguished by cruelty and can sometimes show empathy or even come to the rescue of a person. Ken has a somewhat carefree nature, which has often caused trouble for both him and Ru. He has a toned physique and a well-placed blow. He was played by Damian Chapa. A unofficial, Simon Call, is often involved in the transfer of relevant decisions of the Security Council and also has a certain influence on the Colonel Guile. He feels quite confident when carrying out official assignments, which he tries to convey quite quickly. It's not acceptable for him to not follow instructions, which can piss him off a little, but he is not one of those people who can really fight back. Balrog is part of the TV team for GNT News, where he acts as a cameraman and accompanies Chun Li during her reports. He, like Chun Li, always tries to quickly respond to events and pursues the same goal with her to destroy Bison. Balrog has a great relationship with the team and sometimes likes to joke around a bit. Played by Grand Al Bush. Dalsim has a medical background, but is forced to perform various gruesome medical manipulations and experiments at the behest of Bison. He works in a secret laboratory that he is not allowed to leave and is somewhat restricted in his movements due to the restraining chains on his limbs. He knows how to be resilient 
and is willing to take risks for the slightest chance of helping a human being. Played by Russian Seth. Carlos Blanca, Robert Pamon, is a member of the UN forces and was one of the soldiers who went in search of the missing workers, but only he managed to survive. Because of his good friendship with Colonel Guile, he was selected by Bison as a test experiment to create the perfect killing machine. His body has withstood many mutational changes, yet he has retained the remnants of his sanity, thanks to Dalsim's efforts. Captain Savada works for the Shadowloo government as part of the UN forces and has a large unit of soldiers who follow his orders without question. He often attends command meetings, which Kami is also required to attend. He is not afraid to be the first to speak and ask the questions that interest him. Savada likes the utmost precision, especially when it comes to organizing combat operations, played by Kenya Savada. Vega is under the patronage of Victor Saget, and thanks to whom he has become a real star of the underground fights. He loves the pompous entrance before the fight, for which he has gained extra appreciation from the public, especially when he also demonstrates acrobatic skills. Vega has a good, somewhat noble bearing and well-trained muscles. He has a snake tattoo that wraps around his torso. He was played by Jay Tower. E. Honda is originally from Hawaii and is not common to be seen wearing a tropical print short. He works in television with Balrog, with whom he also has a good relationship. Honda is involved in on-location reporting and usually doesn't leave the van where he monitors the action with his equipment. He has long hair, which he usually puts in a ponytail. He wears a watch on his left arm, played by Peter Twisosopo. Victor Sagat has been a fighter for a long time until he started his own underground club and started collaborating with an equally experienced and unbeaten fighter, Vega. He is very polite to his partners unless they are trying to outsmart him and also is used being proactive and can take his foes by surprise at times. The role is performed by Wes Study. Colonel Guile works for the Shadowloo government and obeys UN orders, but only if they don't contradict his principles. He can keep his cool, react extremely quickly in dangerous situations, and is able to neutralize a criminal. Guile has leadership qualities and has a weighty role for his soldiers. He's not afraid to talk on camera and used to say what he thinks. The role is played by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Bison's torturer lives in Shadowloo and, like the other dictator's henchman, is in a secret place. He carries out various orders from his leader, and it was he who was tasked to torture E. Honda and Balrog. He's characterized by a certain sarcastic nature, confidence in his own strength, and a certain superiority over the prisoners, as well as by his tall stature and strong physique. The role is performed by Joe Bogner. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.